Okay, this looks like this might work. Huh, let's give it a shot. Add to cart, quantity, and uh, oh. wow, that fast? Wow, Amazon's still doing things pretty quickly. Guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to help you with something. Yes, I've been doing a lot of PC stuff lately, but today we're going to focus on the mighty Xbox One. So, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, whatever you wish to do. But you're at home, you want to play your racing games, and you don't want to use your gamepad. You have a Logitech G27, or G25, or whatever the case may be and it doesn't work on your latest Xbox. How much of a kick in the pants is that? Considering Microsoft could have easily done an update that allowed that to happen. The question is, who's responsible for that update not happening? Is it Microsoft or is it Logitech? Remember, Logitech is making the 920 and the G29 and stuff and moving on. Do they really want the backwards compatibility to keep continuing? Well, I'm going to say probably not. So I don't believe Microsoft is truly at fault, but I'm sure there's some fault somewhere because in the end, unless you're being bought off, stuff should work. So today from Brook, the company's called Brook, and it's this little guy here. And this dongle is about $55 Canadian. So I'm going to put a link in the description below, of course. And this little guy boasts that I can play my G27 on my Xbox One S, or Xbox One, or X. So guys, what do you get in the box? Well, you get stickers. Stickers. Yeah, those are cool. Brook. Looks like a little lizard or something, like a chameleon or whatever, as part of their logo. It's kind of cool. I mean, stickers are a really good thing. I got a buddy, Rob. If he didn't know stickers, he doesn't want to buy the stuff anymore. Rob, that, I know you. So guys, you actually get this little dongle right here. There's uh, lights on the side here. Basically these lights tell you that everything is okay. So if it's all green, you're good. If there's no lights, I believe, then you've got to go and see what's going on. Um, whoa, we get to peel stuff off? What? There's nothing like getting to peel stuff off. So this little dongle has a USB port right here at the back, a USB to plug in, and that is it. That's how simple this is. And we're going to just plug it in because I don't know if this needs to be set up on a computer or whatever the case may be. So this little guy also boasts that it works with PC. So the bonus there is, for example, Windows 10 has been a bit difficult installing also the G27. Now it can work and I got it to work. So after you figure it out once, it's not so bad. But to the average person, the G27 is almost just left over in the dust after Windows 7. Well, apparently if you use X input, plug this dongle in, plug your steering wheel in, boom, it works just like it did before. So that's pretty cool. So X input is just another way of setting up a controller on Windows. There's X input and then direct input. And one's not really better than the other. It all comes down to what you're doing and what the game supports. And most racing games and so on will support the X input as it is a pretty standard button layout. So let's plug this into my Xbox One S because my daughter, my little, little daughter, she wants to play some Forza 5 and I don't blame her because I really like the game. Yes, we have newer Forzas, but it's the one that's installed. Hey okay, guys, <laughs> this is awesome because I have a G27 steering wheel and I refused to buy a new one after spending so much money on it. And I wanted it to work on my Xbox One. And as you can see here, we're playing Forza 5 on my Xbox One. You see my daughter's playing it now. And I'll show you. I will remove the camera. I will come up close showing that it's a G27 and show the dongle that I'm using and show you that it actually is working. I did not do any setups on a computer or anything. We just plugged it in recognize it as a steering wheel and away we go 
So that is awesome. For not too much money, you can now play your G27 on your Xbox One S, One, whatever, and so on. This also works on the PC. So on Windows 10, it's this can be set up on Windows 10, but it's really not that easy. But if you use this dongle, it will work with no issues whatsoever. So it'll work with your PC and your Xbox One. So that is awesome. So guys, let me prove and make sure that you guys truly believe. And look, the force feedback is unbelievable. I don't know if there's settings where I can change all that yet. I haven't played around with it, but it is working. guys this little dongle works um, I got to go in and see if you can adjust the uh, force feedback or whatever features which are probably the same type of features that would be in your Xbox under the control features anyway I just never got around to playing with it because she kind of got used to it she was actually uh, showing me up a little bit when we played for a little while longer which kind of hurt my ego I don't really have much of an ego but it hurt it a little so this little guy is $55 Canadian, or about $56, whatever it was, $55.99. I don't want to lie. And it's worth every penny for how simple it was. I didn't have to do any setups. I plugged it in. My steering wheel did the twist. It all the setup features as if it was booting up like on any other uh, PC or, or whatever it was. And what this dongle allows is PS3 and PS4 peripherals. So all PS3 and PS4 peripherals on your Xbox One. Now tell me that's not cool. That is amazing. Now, as far as I know though, it's for wired only. There is a wireless version of this adapter. So this, this is where it can get expensive. If I wanted my wheel to work on my PS4, I need to buy the blue dongle and that's another $55. So you can see where now I'm at 110. That's still cheaper than buying the other options that are out there to make it work. Um, but if you wanted to go wireless, well, then you're buying a wireless version of this adapter and believe that wireless version of the adapter, I'm not 100%, maybe down the road I might pick it up, uh, doesn't have the wired capability, which could be also a pain in the butt. But in a different video, I do have another product that might be able to solve those situations. But guys, this little guy worked. I just wanted to do this video because my daughter wanted to play Forza 5. She said, I want to do some racing. She's been trying to get me on horse games, and I, I kind of want horse games. If you guys know any good horse games for kids, please tell me. I can't keep up. But the Forza 5 did keep her at bay for a while, and I was pretty happy because I got to play some Forza 5 too, actually on my wheel, which made me really happy. And hey, it was much cheaper than going out and buying the other guys that can do it for 200 or whatever dollars or buying another $400 steering wheel. Nobody wants to be doing that. So guys, if you have a G27 sitting around or a G25 or whatever older wheel and it doesn't work with your, or even PS3 or PS4 peripherals, whether it be a steering wheel or not, and you already bought it for your PS4, but man, you really want to use it on your Xbox One, go ahead, get this adapter from Brooke and your peripherals will work. Thank you for watching this episode. This episode was made pretty quickly due to my daughter really wanting to play a game. And it was a, a video I was meaning to do for quite a while. I actually had this adapter sitting here for review for about, whew, it could have been a good two months. The problem is there was no time frame on when I had to review this piece and other people, of course, have time frames, and when you have time frames, well, you got to do the thing in a time frame if you want to continue doing stuff with that company. So sometimes things like this get put aside and put on the back burner. But anyway, guys, till next time, I hope you enjoyed the review of this Brook PS3, PS4 to Xbox adapter, and I hope I've saved you money. Till next time, guys, thank you for watching. Game over.